Hi there, this is Simon from writtenlegalenglish.com and welcome to this video where I give you your tasks that I'd like you to do this week to help you improve your legal or business English writing skills. This week I'd like you to have a look at squinting modifiers. If you don't know what squinting modifiers are, then there are links above or below this video depending if you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube. And in those links you'll be taken to online articles which explain what squinting modifiers are. Uh, and you'll also see the link to my old explainer video which goes into modifiers um, problems with modifiers in general and you'll find the bit about squinting modifiers somewhere in the middle of that video. So once you know what the problem with squinting modifiers is then have a look at the three sentences that you can see behind me. Read the sentences, identify the squinting modifier, work out what the problem is and then redraft each sentence to eliminate that problem. Now of course you have a number of options per sentence. It doesn't matter which one you choose. You can choose both of them if you wish. And you can just redraft to eliminate the problem caused by the squinting modifier. I'll be back again on Friday with my explainer video to show you how I would go about correcting these mistakes. There is no right or wrong answer. There is just the problem with squinting, modifier, uh, squint, squinting modifiers and how we should fix them. Now, squinting modifiers clearly exist in English, but in other languages they may not. For example, in Polish, I've been told, language conventions do not allow squinting modifiers to exist. However, I'd love to know if squinting modifiers can exist in your native mother tongue. So if it can or if it can't, please leave a comment below. I'd love to find out. Okie dokie. Uh, if you've got any questions about the exercise for this week, then leave uh, some comments below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, I'll see you again on Friday with my comments. See you then.